this video is going to show you how to make my version of a cloth mask. So I've made five or six versions of these masks based on different tutorials, and I picked the features that I liked best and combined them into one model. So in this mask, there is an optional pocket for a wire, which results in a nice snug custom fit. It's double layer quilting cotton and has a pouch for a filter, which is also optional. And the best part is it doesn't require any elastic, which is getting hard to come by. It fastens with a single piece of t-shirt yarn, which I love for how comfortable it is and how easy it is to find and to make yourself. This is what you'll need to make this mask. One piece of high quality quilting cotton, 15 inches by 7.5 inches, two pieces of quilting cotton cut to four inches by two inches, or if you have it on hand, you can also use double fold bias binding, two pieces each cut to four inches long. Optionally, if you'd like to put a wire over the bridge of your nose in your mask, I've used six inches of 20 gauge galvanized wire, but you can be creative and use whatever you have. A pipe cleaner will work, twist ties, picture hanging wire, and this mask has the wire uh, is removable. So if you don't have something perfect on hand, you can make do and then replace it with something better when you can get a hold of it. To fasten the mask, I've used t-shirt yarn. All t-shirt yarn is, is a one inch wide strip of knit fabric. So this is cut from uh, an old skirt, but you can cut it from t-shirts, leggings, or knit fabric that you happen to have around the house. And for this mask, I've used 40 inches. There are lots of good YouTube tutorials on how to make your own t-shirt yarn, so if you're not sure how to do it, I suggest just looking it up. The very first step is to use a zigzag stitch or your serger to finish these short edges. Now that we've finished those edges, I'll fold it lengthwise, matching the two finished edges. Now I'm gonna make a mark one inch from each side. So there and there. Now what we'll do is stitch with a straight stitch from the end to this point, back stitching, and then start again here, back stitch, and then all the way to the end with a quarter inch seam allowance. This will leave an opening between those two points. So now we'll press this seam allowance open all the way along the width of the mask. And then with a straight stitch, we'll top stitch one of these seam allowances down. So because there are two layers here, before I stitch down this seam allowance, I have to move this bottom layer out of the way. So I'll do that by turning it right side out and stitching it this way. So now what we have is this tube with an opening in the middle. Now I'm going to roll this up to the top so that this seam and this opening is about half an inch from the top of the mask. I'll press that. And now we'll stitch with an eight, one eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way around all four sides of the mask. Now we're gonna sew the pocket for the wire across the bridge of the nose. So if you don't wanna put a wire in your mask, you can skip this part, but if you do, I'm showing on a finished mask here what we're sewing. 
So we're going to sew this line from here to here, and you can see it makes a little pocket or a sleeve into which you can slip a removable piece of wire. So you can take it out to wash it or if you don't feel like wearing it. So on our mask here, we are going to make a mark one and a half inches from each side. This is going to be the starting point and finishing point of our stitching line underneath our sleeve. And I'm going to stitch just across that line. So now it's time to make our pleats in the mask. So turning it over, you want to make three relatively even pleats, just making sure that your first pleat doesn't overlap your opening. So you can just eyeball it and you want the finished width of your mask to be about three inches. Then when you're happy with your pleats, press them in place. We're going to sew one line close to the edge on each side just to hold those in place. Now we'll apply binding to the edges of the mask in order to make a sleeve that you can slip the strap through. And that's the final step. So you, for this step, you can either use four inch lengths of pre-made bias binding, or you can make your own binding with two, by two inch by four inch pieces of quilting cotton. So I'll show you how to do that here, just in case you don't have bias binding or you don't know how to make your own. I'm going to press it in half and press those halves into the center. And there's our binding. So to attach this to the mask now, you unfold it. And starting on the back of the mask, which is the side with the opening, we're going to take this and align the raw edges. So you're lining the edge of this up with the edge of the mask. And importantly, it sticks over the edges a little bit. So I'm going to fold that edge around and I'm going to use my Clover Wonder Clips to hold that around the edge. So now that this is clipped on, I'm going to take it to the machine and sew a seam along that first crease, sewing this to our binding or to our mask. So now that we've sewn the binding on, when you flip it around, these edges are going to be nicely tucked around. The final thing we're going to do is press those edges. And now this part of the binding gets folded once and wrapped around to the front of the mask. You can use pins or these handy little wonder clips and we'll sew that binding on to the mask. And once you've done that, finally do the exact same thing to the other side of the mask and you're done sewing.
Now our mask is done. All we have to do is thread our strap through these little side sleeves and if you want, insert your wire into the wire sleeve. I'll take my piece of t-shirt yarn, it's about 40 inches long, using a safety pin and starting at the bottom of one of the sides, I'll thread it through this side, up and around and down the other side. So we have our strap threaded through these side channels. The very last thing to do, if you want, is to insert your wire into the little nose sleeve that we made. So turning it over, you can see in the back, there's the hole to insert a filter if you want to do so. And this little sleeve, we can put our wire. Now, we're not gonna stick it in just like this because these pokey ends could poke through the fabric and also poke into your face. And so what I'm gonna do is I want my finished wire to be about four and a half inches long. So I'm going to bend the ends of this into little loops and tape them down. So once that's been done, you can take the wire, thread it up into the nose channel. There you go, a nice fitted mask. And before you wash the mask, you can take that wire out so it won't get damaged or deformed in the wash and then put it back in. And here's the finished product. Hide in the back super comfy and snug and fitted to the top of my nose. I hope this helps you in your own mask sewing journey. Take care.